voting has begun, which means the Azada School District community is just under two weeks away from finding out whether a $450 million bond will pass. The money would go to renovate and build new schools. But a new teacher survey shows support for the bond is declining. ABC 7's Ashley Rodriguez is live to explain why. Ashley? Rick Estella, it all comes down to equity. Some teachers see this bond as favoring some areas more than others. But the fact that some areas are getting brand new schools, that is what makes it inequitable. $451 million broken down into seven feeder patterns, reaping the most tax dollars as Eastwood, which is set to receive $94 million. At the bottom, Parkland, getting $11 million. After it's let teachers learned about these numbers, support for the bond dropped. I think the main one is Eastwood High School. Uh, a lot of people are looking at Eastwood and saying, why are they getting a brand new high school? The Isleta Teachers Association conducted two surveys, one prior to the bond's details coming out, the other after. In the first, 80% of teachers surveyed supported it. But after they learned more, that number fell to 63%. Their comments show numerous concerns, including the potential tax rate hike, the potential of a school being shut down and displacing their job, and equity. One says, equity is the word, giving to brand new schools instead of those who need it most. Outrageous. Another says, at Bel Air, I've been informed that we won't be receiving the appropriate amount of funds, even though our school is one of the worst. Parkland would appear not to be getting the same investment that Eastwood High School learning community is getting. But of the $94 million, $75 million are Eastwood High School. So if you were to pull Eastwood High School out, you'd find that Parkland gets $26, $27 million, and the rest of the schools in the Eastwood learning community share $19 million. Although the bond lost teacher support, the majority of YTA still supports it. There are responses. Why would YTA actually support this bond? And I'm t I, my answer to them is, why would we not? It is for the best interest of the district. The bond will go toward upgrading old buildings, but the big ticket items are a new Eastwood High School, a new Bel Air Middle, and Thomas Manor Elementary. Rick Estella. Okay, thank you very much, Ashley. More bond information can be found at KBIA.com. A warning, the details on this next story are disturbing. Authorities say two longtime El Paso foster parents sexually assaulted a seven-year-old girl and an 11